What's up everyone? I am going to make my way through the Crucible, or at least attempt to make my way through the Crucible, the end game portion of No Rest for the Wicked. Uh, I've tried it a couple times, and I've made it about four dungeons deep before dying. I really want to make it to the boss, um, so I've been prepping, farming, all that, getting my, my character ready. Uh, and this is what we're working with, so uh, I am a strength build, uh, going for an official tank build. Uh, starting with my weapon, you can see here I have the Corpse Smeared Blade, the two-handed greatsword that gets dropped by uh, Warwick the Torn, uh, the first boss of the game. Once I was able to wield it, I have been using this weapon, and it's been my go-to, and it's awesome. Um, I did have to put all my stats into strength, basically, to wield it, so I you know, chose very early on I was going for a strength build. So here we are, um, and you can see it's got uh, four Four different runes uh, that kind of came with the weapon. Uh, attacks deal 15% extra plague damage, chance to regenerate health on damage dealt, and stamina increase by 29%. And I added a gem to increase damage by 11% as well. Now for the armor, I am using the Broken Vows Helm. Um, I did upgrade this once. Oh, and by the way, uh, the Corpse Mirror Braid is fully upgraded. You can see it's tier 3. I got that upgraded all the way. Uh, the Broken Vows Helm, helm excuse me, uh, I've upgraded one time. Same with pretty much all my armor. Um, I did enchant all of these and kind of rolled the dice and um, came out okay. You know, I got an equip load increase by 12%, reflex damage uh, 3% taken, gold loss on death, not a huge deal. And I added a gem that um, increases healing effects by 23%. Nellap's Puffery is uh, 274 armor, as you can see. Focus is increased by 19%. A lot of resistances, health increase, poise defense increase, which is uh, key, and stamina rege regeneration increased. Uh, the Talon Plate Gloves, overall speed increased by 5%, poise defense, and 12% focus loss. And I did decrease the weight on this one just because I want to make sure I'm not over encumbered. And then the Plate Pants, all resistances increased by 16, health regen, overall speed increased by 6, reflex 2% damage, and I gain exper more experience, but I lose experience on death. Um, so that's what we're working with. I am a heavy build, as you can see. We're going full tank, uh, strength tank build. That's what we're working with here, and we're going to see how we do in the Crucible. So we're going to run right in. I've got all my potions ready to go. I've got plenty of food to heal with. Um, I think I know what each of the dungeons is by now, so I can sort of have a plan as I get to each one, but we'll see what we start with. They do tend to start you with a new one kind of every time you come down here. So I'm curious what they start me with this time. Uh, which one is this? Okay, this, this one wasn't that bad, I remember. This one was... Fairly easy. I did actually. Never mind. I have not done this one. This is a new one. But look at that tank. Just tanking the hits. If we're gonna trade blows, I'm gonna win. I am just super tanky right now. All right, someone's shooting fireballs over there, so I need to. These enemies I do not like. They are annoying. Man, I fell. I thought I was going to die, but I didn't, and that's good. Yeah, this is a new one. I, I thought I had done all the dungeons, but I have not done this one yet. Looks like i got to climb over here. Hey, I'll grab an item over here. Why not? Nothing in there. Alright, where's all the enemies at? There he is. I hate that they teleport. That is so annoying. And then I'll get over there, and he will teleport again. Guaranteed. Or he'll knock me off again. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, come in here. Come in here so I can fight you. I'll just go for this guy. Alright, he's gone. Got him, at least. I'm on fire.
And I'm just gonna... I do have health regen. You can see it's slowly regening my health, but I'm just gonna eat some food to get the party going here. Whoops. Good old depth perception in this game is a little tricky. Knowing where to jump. Okay, yeah, go over there. That's much better. That's much better. So they're dropping a good amount of coin. Can't complain about that. Alright, this looks like everything here. And go this way. Oh, that was it. That one was not that bad. That was a good intro, good warm-up. We'll take it. Alright, have I done this one? Yes, I did this one earlier. Now the trick to this one is to get all these guys on the edge first. Before aggroing the guy in the middle. Hello, fellas. I'm super tanky. You're not going to do much damage to me. Thank you very much. Take your plague flask. Who's over here? Who's over here? Two of you. Hey, see you later. Alright, now dude in the middle is legit. He can definitely do some damage, even with my, all my armor, so... And you'll notice there's bombs everywhere. So, right, he's coming right over. I think the bombs hurt him, too, if he steps on... Uh, maybe not. Yep, no, that, that is setting him on fire. So that's, that's good. So if we can get him to walk into those, all the better. Alright, he's coming up. He's ready. I do quite a bit of damage, though, so... Not too big of a deal for me. Okay. I think that's that in here. I don't think there's anything else. Alright. Next one we go. Yeehaw. Okay, this is the waterfall one. I think. I hear a waterfall. Yep, okay. Drop down. This one's not too bad. This is the first, very first one I did. I came in here, I was super underleveled, and these guys were just destroying me. But now, I'm the overleveled one. I just need to be a little careful, because there's a guy that will pop out that I don't want to pop out quite yet. I'll wait for him to come over here. I tried to parry that. No need. I can just tank through it. Ooh, I got some more heavy armor. Alright, there's a fire guy up there, so I want to be careful of that. And then the big guy right here, who will break the wall. And then here's my opening. I like to back off of him while he does this stuff, and then just... Do my charged heavy. Tends to work pretty well. And then I'm going to go up and get this guy now. There's two knights over to the left that we'll go and get in a minute. Hopefully they don't see me up here. Craft leather. I'm going to try and drop down on this guy. Yeah. Didn't get the drop, but we pushed him off the edge. That's good enough for me. I'm going to run out of loot spots. I can already tell. Alright, got the coins. Go get the knights. I'm always nervous about going down these, because if you fall, you might die. And the animation doesn't always... There we go. You don't always get the animation to go down. Oh, there's only one. Last time there were two. Yeah, come over here. I don't want to fight you on the ledge. Yeah, he can do that. He can... Huh. 
But two hits and he's dead, so I'm not really going to complain. I'm already out of gear inventory slots. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, bear paw. That is good. Bear paws are rare. I needed two bear paws to upgrade my sword, which I finally got. So that's how I got it all the way leveled up. But in case I want to upgrade any more weapons, good to have more bear paws. Which I probably will. I'll probably upgrade a couple more strength weapons just to try them out. And then maybe I'll go for uh, adding some decks or something like that to it. There's some there's some strength dex weapons, some strength in weapons. You get creative. If they add a respec, then we're cooking. It'd be fun to try out different builds. Okay, this one's new. I have not seen the sunflower. This was in the um, trailer. I have not seen the sunflower area yet. This is my first my first time here. All right, I see dudes everywhere. So. I like to take out the fire guys first, because they're just so annoying. Luckily that one didn't see me. You know what, one thing I didn't think of was repairing my stuff. I hope I have repair powder on me. I do. I have a, I have a large repair. Okay, we're good. All right, they're all going to see me here. Got him. Got you. Is that anything I want? Eh, not really. Blueberries, I definitely don't need blueberries. Oh, I missed. There we go. One more. Two more. Oh. Yeah, the nice thing about this sword is the plague damage, or plague infliction, so that, you know, they will die if I run away after a while. Be a chest, but there's also a bomb there. Gotta be careful about those. This is a cool little area. I like this dungeon. Can I jute threads? Yeah, I don't need jute threads. My armor needs silver. Now, if they're dropping silver ores, then we're talking. I need myself some silver. Alright, this one I've done. This one's interesting. They all come down on little elevators. Like, you think you're safe. There's a fire guy in the middle. And then they all come down on you. And then there's a big guy, I think, in the back. Alright, these two guys, I will bait them over here. Get the heavies going. Easy peasy. Yep, no more room for that. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a big guy. Ow. Last time there was a big guy. Yep, there he is. Luckily, I can just tank right through him. This is uh, a lot easier than it was last time for me, just to send kinda OP at this point. My armor is super... What? I didn't even... We didn't look at the uh, stats. Let's look at the stats. We got 838 armor. 44 poise. 121 heat resistance. I mean, I assume those are all pretty good. My equip load is very heavy, but that's okay. 
Um, yeah, 22 health, 22 stam, 42 strength. I've just been pumping strength now that I am uh, pretty much where I want to be with all the other stats. And 40 with 42 strength, I can wield some of the other strength weapons. All right, what is this one? This looks like another. No, I did this one too. This is where I died last time. Actually, I fell off the uh, fell off the walkway, so I need to be careful this time. The walkways can be bad news. Okay. Those guys used to be hard. Now they are not so hard. Not with this gear. Okay. Yeah, I keep trying to pick stuff up, but I can't. Still taking fire damage. I should, I should probably back off for a second. Okay, yeah, we'll eat a cake. We'll get a little... So this cake will give me 600 seconds of extra attack damage. Let's see what it does to the... Ooh! Almost, almost one-shot him. Well, that was it? The gates open? I thought there were more dudes up here. There were last time. It's interesting. They kind of change... the enemies that spawn. Is a chest up there. Don't really want to risk dying trying to get it, so I'm just gonna play it safe here. Get out of here. Wait, I did see an item though that I probably can get. Eh, you know what? I'm not gonna risk that either. No risking. We're trying to get to the boss. I want to fight this boss. Down we go. There's definitely a couple hard ones. There was one that I they started me off and that was pretty hard. And I think it's this one. Is it this one? No, but this one's pretty hard too. Trade blows with you, buddy. Sounds good to me. Give me that shepherd's pie. Okay. Chipped shield emblem. I kind of want that. I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. So I need to get rid of something. Where do those go? Do those go to inventory or potions? I don't know. I've got plenty of these things. I'm going to discard that. Yeah, okay, good. Got it. All right, so there's going to be... Oh, there's a guy right there. That's new. He wasn't there last time. Problem though. Ooh, that's a new ring. I definitely want that ring. So let's get rid of something. Uh, get rid of these mesh gloves. Plagued ring. Let's see what that ring does. That might be a good ring. Gain health, lose focus on damage dealt. Uh, seems pretty good. When do I gain health? On damage dealt. Okay, so I gain health, but I lose focus on damage dealt. That's fine. I don't really use focus with this build. Yeah, I might, I might replace this crow ring for this plagued ring. That seems like a good idea. Let's try it out. I mean, if I'm gaining health on every hit... That is clutch. Okay. 
Alright, now there's gonna be a bunch of dudes up here. I'm gonna try and get the fire guy first. Got him. Got him. That was a new helmet, too. I haven't seen that one yet. What is that thing? That, actually, that might be a upgrade material. Oh! Oh, I didn't see him. Knock you over, buddy. He's got a shield. The shield bros are kind of annoying. They always do that. Just want to get my hits in, buddy. Alright, now there should be one big, big boy over here. Yep, he's standing there waiting. But these guys aren't bad anymore. Now that I can just tank through them, pretty much. See you later. Nice knowing you. And that ought to do it for this place. Grab me them coins. We'll boogie on to the next one. I think there should only be like one more. Unless there's more that I haven't seen yet. No, I'm at the boss. Okay, we're at the boss. Alright, um... I'm nervous. Let's, um... Let's do a large vial of stamina. Let's do... Um, am I gonna do this quickly? Where's my poise? It's all the way at the end, isn't it? Yep. Do poise. And we'll do... Flame scale oil. And can I also do... Blade oil? Yep, okay. Oh, it's all running out, but that's okay. We're going. Here we go. Boss time. He's, he's tanky. He's a tanky one. Okay, back off. Time to back off. Oh boy. I'm dead. Man. <laughs> all that way just to die to the boss. All right, he's legit. That's cool, though. Um, all right, well, that's the Crucible. Uh, I'm probably going to try this again. I'm going to try and beat the boss. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching this one. Check you then.